This is the Nordic Pocket Saw Abrist version 2. Today we're going to show you how to use it, so let's start with the contents. So starting from the left, we have the uh, carrying pouch with a bright inside so you can easily see the contents, also with the carabiner. Then we have the uh, throwing line, weight, two screw carabiners, two straps, the carrying pouch for the saw chain and the carabiners, and then the saw chain itself. This is the new saw chain. As you can see, it has teeth on both sides, so it doesn't matter how it lands on the branch, it will still be able to cut. And then the teeth are pointing in both directions, so it will cut on each pull. On the new version, we have an easier and quicker attachment. That was all the contents. Let's try it out. So we start by preparing the weight with the throw line. The way we do that is that we make a little loop here. We tag it around and in on itself, like so. And then we take this part and we thread it through the weight and then down, under and up so it secures on itself like that. So once this part is done, you take the other end of the rope and you make a similar loop there, and then you connect the carabiner, just like so, and then this one stays there in, during the entire time. For a better throw, it's best to create a zigzag pattern with the throw line. Do not coil it in circle because that will hem the line from going over the branch. The best way to protect the tree is to cut big branches in steps. So the last piece should be really short and light so you avoid peeling off the bark from the tree trunk. As you can see on this branch here, it grew heavier on the left side. That means that when you cut this one down, it will fall to the left. If it keeps falling to the left, you risk pinching it down at the cut and that might damage the saw chain. That's why it's important to take it in steps. 